I think Kuro Games has been doing an unbelievably good job. And the reason why I think that is because like every day we get multiple hotfixes a day. They see issues, they hear uh, complaints, and they are immediately at work trying to fix things, put things together, and ship them out to us. It is insane. Let's get into the announcement. On the Echo Development experience, Echo Development feels grindy and adequate energy material. We are aware of the common concern within the community that the current Echo Leveling experience feels too grindy and the game lacks wave play storage system. We have confirmed that we will implement the following adjustments while we are working internally on solutions to address other common concerns. I feel like it is in a pretty decent spot in terms of grind, but if people feel like it's too grindy, I'm not going, I personally am not going to be offended by having an easier time myself. In the current version, we will launch a limited time echo material double yield event for cleansing. Okay, so it's going to be like what uh, they do, uh, what Hoyoverse does in Honkai Star Rail and Genshin Impact, where for about a week for limited runs a day, you can get double the uh, artifacts, double the gear. Uh, in version 1.1, we will adjust the progression system to reduce the shell credit cost of echo development. That's always nice, just use less resources to do the same things we would already do. In version 1.1, we will remove the reward uh, cutscene of the tacit field. That's really, really nice, guys. Um, in the current state of the game, there is about a three second cutscene at the end of every time you you kill the mobs in a tacit field where it just zooms in on the reward thing. I don't understand why, because it doesn't do that for anywhere else in the entire game. I have no idea why it just randomly does it for tacit fields. From version 1.1 and forward, the yield of echoes and echo development materials will be increased. Just get more for doing the same thing we already were doing. So it's going to cost less credits. You're going to get more echoes um, and echo XP materials. And you're not going to have to sit through the cutscene. That is really, really good. In upcoming updates, we will introduce the wave plate storage system. So this is, I'm going to assume, whenever you get to 240 energy, there is like an additional bank of storage that it goes to but problem with that in my mind is if they do it like honkai star rail does what like hoyoverse does with honkai star rail it will be a heavily heavily reduced rate that it goes into the storage system with so it's supposed to cut down on fomo but it doesn't completely cut down on fomo you're still missing out on a lot of energy because it is a very very reduced rate hopefully they will just keep it the same rate that way if if for whatever reason you can't log in for three days yeah you miss your dailies you know it is what it is but you can come back to a, you know, a decent amount of shell cre uh, of wave plates of all your energy. You still have every last bit of energy you would have had. Uh, two, regarding our handling of the reward system, uh, error when recycling developed echoes. Okay. On May 29, 2024, we were notified of an issue in the echo recycling system where the amount of shell credits players obtained from recycling developed echoes was wrong. Since this issue that directly impacts the game balance, we fixed the problem through an emergency live update the same night and issued compensation to all players. As a part of the measure to minimize events impact on the fairness within the player community, we informed the players of the situation and announced that we will remove all additional cell credits obtained unexpectedly as a result of the bug within 14 days and issue compensations accordingly. Okay, this is something where it's murky waters because through a bug, we were actually getting more rewards from doing a piece of content than we were intended to receive. This is one of those things where getting rewards somewhere where you weren't meant to can actually definitely affect the balance of the game because you might receive things a lot faster than you would normally. We already received 600,000 shell credits. Uh, due to the urgency of this issue, we failed to announce the uh, announcement of this issue in the first instance, which regrettably caused negative experience for our players. I'd assume, yeah, the people who noticed it, they were like, wait, so a hotfix happened and now I'm receiving less rewards. Interesting. We sincerely apologize for our improper way of handling the situation and inconveniences caused. Uh, following an internal discussion, we have decided to compensate all players with the shell credit based on the maximum amount of shell credit that had been unexpectedly yielded through this bug to address the negative impact caused. We will round up to the nearest whole number and provide extra compensation to all players. Shell credit, 1 million. Wow. Wow, guys. That is, um, that is insane. That's a lot of shell credits. Additionally, to address the poor experience with the Echo system, it will compensate all rovers with Crystal Solvents X20. What? That is insane. Thank you for your understanding and support. That is that is 1,200 energy just for free. So we just get that and we can use it whenever we want. 
my my recommendation everybody is to save it for version 1.1 you will get more echoes and development materials so if you are planning on using it in tacit fields to farm more echoes wait for patch 1.1 please that is don't get the instant gratification just wait till later and like double your rewards um double the value of that energy uh all right on the error five star weapon description as has been discovered by our players the description of the five star weapon verdant summit in the game created certain uh languages contained a mistranslation uh upon discovering the issue we promptly corrected the description and issue compensation to all rovers we have also initiated a compensation internal review in the localized versions of the game in game text across all languages that we support any corrections or improvements made during the process will be included in the upcoming updates we sincerely apologize for this mistake and want to reassure you that we're committed to continuously improving the quality and localization and to better the experience of all rovers. Okay, so let me just explain what they did was Verdant Summit, the special weapon for Xi'an. Basically what it does um, is it boosts the damage of your Resonance Liberation. That's your ultimate. In a few languages, it actually had the wrong wording. Uh, and the translation was wrong, it said that it boosted your resonant skill damage. Now, who is a lot more based off the resonant skill, also uses a broad blade, um, and maybe also has like three charges of his skill? Calcharo. People were pulling this because it was like, next level super turbo bis on Calcharo in the description. But in reality... All it did was boost your resonance liberation damage. It didn't boost your skill damage. Um, so people were pulling on this for Calcharo because there was like, oh my god, this is insane. I'm going to pull for Calcharo even if I don't have Gion. And then it comes out that, wait, this was just a translation error? This isn't actually how it works? Why did I just use all these pulls on this? So basically, um, they already shipped out 160 asteroid for it. That's about a pull worth. Um... And now they're going to offer a one-time compensation of Forging Ties uh, X5, which is five pulls on the banner. All right, on version events, we have received extensive feedback on the duration and rewards of Overdash Club event. To adjust your concerns, we are currently in the process of redesigning the rules and reward schemes for upcoming events and the immediate solutions are as below. All right, before I read this, I want to comment on the current event. People say it sucked it takes less than a minute to do each day and you get more you get definitely more than a minute's worth of rewards every time that you complete it right and then you can do it like seven times i would say one of my only problems with it is i just hate time gating in general events and gotcha games are just basically things you can log in and do for a little bit to get your rewards i don't think an event should be a big time investment i think it should just be one of those ways to get your rewards so that you can play the gotcha of the game. Um, save up for pulls and get characters and level up your, your gear and your everything. But something to actually like get me to go to places maybe I wouldn't have thought to go and like see new things and explore new areas that I haven't been to in a bit um, would be very, very nice. Uh, moving forward, we shall ensure to make a greater collective, make greater collective endeavors internally in designing the versions events to improve the content quality and rewards for your better experience on future version updates timeline since the official launch of weathering waves you've received a sync of feedback regarding the game storyline localizations and various other aspects we have been listening closely and are, gar are grateful for the continued enthusiasm and support for our players which has exceeded our expectations to allow everyone early access and to experience more content and features of weathering waves in version 1.0 we have decided to advance the release of subsequent content in version 1.0, starting on June 6, 2024 at 10. Um, this release will include the companion story, Solitary Path for Resonator Yinlin, and feature Resonator Convene event, When Thunder Pours for Yinlin, limited time challenge event, Alloy Smelt, along with many more spinoff events and features. So we are basically going to be receiving the second half of the 1.0 patch um much earlier it's going to be on june 5th that is literally in two days in two days this is going to release so we are going to actually be able to pull for yinlin because it says the convene event wow well that's good because honestly i've been waiting for this um i'm very excited to pull for yinlin i have a lot of pulls waiting i'm going to try and get yinlin and her weapon 
and then my Calcharo will be the greatest being on the planet. Uh, Weathering Waves 1.0 will last until June 20. I assume the banners are going to overlap. They're not just going to early end Xi'an's banner. Um, Weathering Waves 1.0 will last until June 28th, 2024. Okay, so it's actually the whole event is ending about a week earlier than it was going to. Um, it was going to be 1.1 was going to release on the 4th of July. And then Zenla Zone Zero announced that their official launch date was going to be July 4th. They were going to try and directly compete Weathering Waves on release of patch 1.1 with an entirely brand new game. So I think the Weathering Waves making the defensive decision. Actually, I think it would be more defensive to like push it forward. Giving us more content sooner, I think is actually more of an aggressive maneuver. You're going to drop your game on our patch day. Thanks for the push that we needed. Now we're going to drop our patch and all of our new content a week earlier so our players can get into it faster and start experiencing it sooner. I think that this is an insanely good decision. I think this is nothing but W's. I have always said that I think that the versions, the patches in Honkai Star Rail, they last so long. If you don't care about the character on the banner, if there's not a lot going on in a patch of Honkai Star Rail, it feels like it takes forever to move on to the next patch and the next character. Um, it's really rough sometimes. I wish that this would honestly just be permanent. Two weeks and then one week where um, they're both on at the same time, like both banners are up at the same time. And then the last two weeks where like just the second character's up. Wow, a new area already? Mount Firmament. Firmament. Okay. A new area and new resonators, Jinsi and Changli. And a new boss, Zhu. Um, to compensate for any inconvenience caused by this version timing announcement, we will issue compensation to all rovers, Radiant Tide X10. Okay, so this is 10 of the special currency. And guys, guys, we aren't losing any time on the banners because there's an overlap. It's not like, oh, we have to give this Radiant Tide to our players because we're taking Xi'an out a week early and maybe people were going to try and last minute pull for Xi'an. That's not even the case. They're just saying, hey, there's going to be a week where both banners overlap. You can still pull for whoever you want that nothing changes at all. Oh yeah, but here's 10 Radiant Tide just because. The patch cycle ending a week earlier, like I've already said many times, is a massive W and they're like, Sorry about giving you this massive W. We'll give you another massive W to compensate for that massive W you just got. What are we even saying? I think this is great. Okay. On combat and control experience optimization. We've heard your feedback regarding the poor experience with uh, auto aiming and auto lock on controls. Key mapping requirements and game field design. Um, based on the issues that repeatedly come up in player discussions, we have identified following issues and will address them accordingly while working on a solution to other known issues not listed below. One, auto aiming, auto lock, and camera performance in battle. I really hope that they say something good here. In the recent updates, we have disabled the combat character correction feature on PC by default. Okay. We've also optimized the default values and ranges for combat character settings, or combat camera settings. Okay, that's good. In recent updates, we have optimized the aggro ranges for certain bosses, including Thundering Mephis, Crownless, Luperian Myriad, and Experience Harriman. Okay, so this is very, 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 very good, right? Because if you were to try and disengage and catch your breath in a boss fight and maybe kite it around a little bit, oftentimes with these open world bosses, they will just fully reset and go to full HP. And that can be extremely, extremely annoying. So thank God that they're doing this. Um, in upcoming updates, we'll introduce a disengagement warning. Okay, so that's good. So if you still manage to stray too far, like completely out of its arena and everything, it's going to let you know that you are disengaging and it is going to reset soon. That is extremely, extremely good. In future versions, we will consistently improve the event signification uh, and feel the design for player for, for characters and monsters, enhancing the overall combat experience and positive feedback during battles. I feel like the combat is literally the one of the best parts of this game and they're doing even more improvements hopefully they don't over improve if you know what i mean like fix something that didn't need fixing and then break it on other contents no purchase limits for store items like flour leading to existential purchases 
It's an update, so we have added a weekly purchase limit for certain items in the store. Is that actually good? Do we actually like that? Do we like being limited on what we can purchase because some morons accidentally purchase more than what they need? I'm just going to say if I get weekly gated, even though I need more because they made this change here, I'm just going to be salty about it. Depths of Elusive Realm event optimization and updates. We have, recognized, we have received numerous player feedback and suggestions regarding the depth of the Elusive Realm event in 1.0. In their upcoming 1.1 update, we will further improve this event, add new content, including more playable characters, new challenges, new mechanics, and new buffs. Uh, our version of Simulated Universe did really well, and we probably should have expected that uh, because it did really well in Honkai Star Rail, and pretty much every gacha is starting to implement these roguelite modes. Um, all right, did a lot of reading, a lot of yapping. This has been an extremely good announcement. This has been an extremely good update. Um, I'm really happy about everything that they said here. And I appreciate y'all for watching. Subscribe.